Hey Wilkerson students, this is Mrs. Carroll checking in with you guys. Um, this has been a very unusual last week and a half, so I just want to share some thoughts with you guys, make sure everybody's doing okay. Um, first of all, I just want to remind you that we, uh, Ms. Peterson and I, we can check our email, we can check voice messages. So. If you need to get in touch with us, please feel free to call the school. It'll probably go to our voice message. We can hear that. Our email addresses are as follows. Mine is kcarol at conroeisd.net. Miss Peterson's is knpeterson at conroeisd.net. So I'll leave that up for a few minutes just to let y'all uh, make sure you have access to that. Um, um, I'm actually in my car. Ms. Peterson and I were going to meet up at Sonic for happy hour, <clears throat> but we decided that, that in order for us to both be in the same screen, that wouldn't be practicing social distancing, so we decided against that. But we do miss you guys. We miss being with each other and being able to work with y'all. Um, so again, please email us or leave us a voice message. We do get our emails and voice messages. But today I wanted to talk to you, I wanted to share a challenge with you that my pastor challenged us with uh, on Sunday. We, like many of you, had to do church online. But he challenged us during this difficult time to live better, not bitter. And that can look very different for everybody. So for me, uh, one of the things I'm, I'm being very proactive about doing is getting in my daily exercise, going for a walk, doing an online workout video. Um, for me, that really helps me clear my head. It lets me meditate, kind of plan out what needs to happen for the day, prioritize my day, gets my creative juices flowing. Um, it's just really good for all of us to get our, our exercise in. And I know Coach Mountie has been sharing some phenomenal videos with us about the one, two, three game, rock, paper, scissors, going for a walk with your family. Um, some of your other teachers have been checking in and they're living better, not bitter. Maybe they've just finished a really big jigsaw puzzle. I know Miss Brown and Miss Brandon Mart have done that with their families. Uh, I know Miss Peterson's encouraging y'all to continue with your journaling. So whatever living better, not bitter, looks like for you guys, I wanna invite y'all to share that with me via email, and I'll love to just give you a shout out the next time I check in with you guys. So let's remember to do our best to live better, not bitter. Um, another little uh, acronym I wanted to share with you guys is just the three Ps. So during this time, let's be patient. Let's be patient with ourselves, patient with each other, with our family, with our household members. This online learning is, is difficult. I'm having to learn new technology as are you guys. It can be very frustrating. So let's be patient. Let's be persistent. Um, I'm still working on Zoom and how to use Zoom and I, I'm, I don't quite have it, but I'm, I'm being persistent. I'm gonna keep it going. Um, and let's be a pal. Let's be a friend um, at home to our siblings. Let's try to enjoy their company. Let's take this time to reach out to your family or friends that don't live in the woodlands or even those that do because you, you can't get around them. Let's call grandma in the next state or let's call cousins or aunts or uncles. Send them a long email, write them a card. Just some things that we now have time to do that we didn't have time to do before quarantine. So that's my challenge to you uh, until I see you again, is to live better, not bitter. So please, please email me and tell me how you're doing that. I'd love to give you a shout out. Here's my email address again. There's Miss Peterson's. And then let's also uh, remember the three Ps. We're gonna be patient, we're gonna be persistent, and we're gonna be a pal. Thanks Wildcats, I hope to see you in person really, really soon.